Hello. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Andy. And I'm Jo. And we are... Pack Pioneer! <laughs> Pack Pioneer! <laughs> <laughs> Getting your Jodie and all We post videos all about Disney parks, pins and merch. And today it's pins. Pins, pins, pins. Pins, pins, pins. So if you've seen our uh, 20th anniversary pin trade and event video... A uh, little haul little hole there. Uh, we've got a lot of mystery boxes that we need to open so we thought we'd do it as a nice separate video. Yeah. So we are opening number 21. <laughs> 21. So just to show these again, they're a collection of film related pins. Now I can't exactly remember the reason why. Why we want them. No, well, not why we want them, just why <laughs> these pins are like they are. Okay. <laughs> There's specific reasons, but obviously it has something to do with pin trading, that's what I'm saying. Ah, right, right. okay. Uh, these were £19, pound, £19, no they weren't. These were $19.99 each, and as you may have noticed from Andy's little slow-mo bit then, there's quite a few that fit my collection. Yeah. We've got a figment, we've got a stitch, Chippendale, Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit. Yeah, there's a lot. Right. There are two pins in each box. And they are weighty. Yeah, they are. They are very weighty. So oh. let's get on with it. I really hope that I get the ones that I want. I might just open all the boxes. Oh, this one has a sticky tab on it. <laughs> the others don't. This one has a card sticking out. <laughs> okay. Oh, th this one is literally open. Yes, that's, that's what I mean. This one is open as well and it has a card sticking out. Okay. The card has nothing on it. Weird. Ugh. <laughs> so what's the first one you got there, Joe? Because you did actually say you were opening then. Well, it was open already, <laughs> so I don't Go feel on. like it counts, but in the mm. words of Jodie, I got Stinkerbell. <laughs> You're not a Tinkerbell collector, are you? No, I am not. Um, I know two people who do collect Tinkerbell though. So Nina at Wrestling with Disney collects Tinkerbell and so does Cameron, but I think Cameron's is more Peter Pan. So Cameron, let me know if Tinkerbell um, is in your collection and, and if not Nina, let me know. Mm. <laughs> yeah, could be a quick and easy trade for you there. <laughs> it very much could. So on the back of the pin, you've got the event logo and it's a limited release and then there's this big empty segment like they're almost etched, supposed to etch something on there how bizarre very weird not seeing that on a pin yeah hmm but so these are all flagged as limited release pins because they were mystery boxes so yeah they're not limited edition obviously but they're not open as well that's what I'm yeah. getting at yeah Okay, so, should I open one? Should I open the one that's already open? Why not? Because the one... So... <laughs> oh no, it's not, is it? <laughs> it's... Oh, it's flipping Tinkerbell as... <laughs> <laughs> a second one. So, oh, that would probably help if I held it the right way around. But yeah, um, I guess the feeling they couldn't really get the whole ceiling done properly with Tinkerbell, so... <laughs> And they put a cardboard around it, it's like you couldn't feel it as well, which is a bit a bit bizarre, but okay. Oh, this, this one's sealed and I can feel cardboard around it. Oh, it might, they might all be cardboard, Joe, so go on then, let's get your oh, next I'm one open. I'm going to be so devastated if I've got nothing but Tinker fucking Bell. <laughs> oh, I can't dear. get into it at all. You may have just put the cardboard in so you can't feel them even though I don't know why. That sort of indicates that they were probably planning on leaving them as sort of loose rather than boxing them in pairs. Maybe. Yeah. They're really hard to get into. Do you want, do you want to help? Oh, well, if you try to get into your other one. You might want to start now. Two second job. Well, might as well, as well. Oh, no. Oh. No. No. Oh, I, got, I, was <laughs> I like, knew you're gonna get excited. That's the Madam Mim, isn't it? Is yeah. It? Is it or is it? Oh, I can't. I, don't, I can't. I remember. think it's Madam Mim. I can't 
can't even remember when we watched the film, it's fun. Is it Sword in the Stone? Yeah. Yeah. Or is it Pete's Dragon? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. And again, the same. It's a... The back's the same, limited release, with the logo and a nice blank spot. And that one's the same pin. Oh dear, why do I get the feeling we're going to have a very doopy day today? Quite sad. <laughs> okay. Right. Big crossing your fingers for something different. It's something different. Okay. It is. It's not really thick and soft stitch though, is it? No, it's not. Oh. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> it's a horse. Um, with in the sort of Epcot logo. We are terrible. We don't know where any of these are from. Oh, it's Spingy Elm. Do that. Yeah, it's the frog. Um, toad? Yeah. Is it Toad? Mr. Toad. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Mr. Uh, toad. Okay. If anyone wants a Toad, let me know. <laughs> this is getting pretty depressing. This is this the point. most depressing pin unboxing ever. Yeah, especially since we're only down to the last pin. Oh, well, I've got two. <laughs> And that one was open. Oh no! Don't think about it. It's Tinkerbell. Oh, you are kidding. So. Three Tinkerbell. So, in both boxes had a Tinkerbell that I had. And this one's open. <sighs> oh, yay! It's the horse guy. <laughs> At least it's not Tinkerbell. Well, don't. You know, we've got another pin here, so don't worry, I'm sure she's coming. So, it's not Tinkerbell. It's Pinocchio. So, You got none, none of what you wanted. Of what I wanted. Yeah. And for some reason we got horrible amounts of duplicates. Feels like those boxes weren't split or spread out at all when, when they've just gone down the stack. They've just literally picked out. Yeah. I wanted Figment, Stitch, Roger Rabbit, Chippendale, and Goofy. Yeah. And you got none of them. Oh well, that was a horrible, horrible set of mystery boxes. It's the worst mystery box unboxing ever. Yeah. I'm just gonna go and cry now. Oh, you're gonna get on the bin trading forums and hope that somebody will want <laughs> a want lot of Tinkerbell. Any of them. If if you like any of those pins and want to trade, and you've got some figment or whatever that you hate, please, please yeah, comment down true, below. Yeah, true. Maybe people hate figment, so fingers crossed. <laughs> And Cameron and Nina, I'll message you probably anyway. <laughs> what an absolutely yeah. terrible unboxing. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in this type of content and this type of disappointment, then consider hitting <laughs> the subscribe button down below. Pew pew! And hit the notification bell, bell so you can see us cry. <laughs> <laughs> pew pew! <laughs> and in short, do the YouTube stuff. Do the YouTube stuff. And we'll see you soon. Bye! <laughs> the worst pin unboxing ever! <laughs> this is terrible! <laughs> I demand a recount! I demand a recount! <laughs>